development course is designed to introduce students into the engineering design process. So to understand how to take a concept uh, and solve a problem. So if you say, you know, I hate it when, whatever it may be. Um, for example, one of my students today in the digital electronics class is already talking about research for next year. And he was talking about uh, spores that germinate in his garden that cause a lot of damage. And I think they're called ballistic fungi, if I have that correct. Um, and they were causing issues in gardening. So he started thinking of already ways to solve a problem to reduce that. And so the students in the engineering design development course take a look at problems that are around us, whether it's something environmental, something medical. We have students this year you'll learn about that have developed antimicrobial nanofibers uh, utilizing uh, embedded silver particles. And it actually inhibited the growth of E. coli bacteria. It's amazing. And so you're going to see all of the 11 research teams th this evening they're going to sh share with you their research and their passion. Um, for me, teaching this course is an absolute dream. Uh, we model the engineering design uh, course after Project Lead the Way, which is an international uh, curriculum to introduce engineering to high school students. This senior capstone course, I put a spin to it. I decided to add a nanotechnology element. And just to give you a half a second or maybe a little longer background, I knew nothing about nanotechnology until I was introduced back in 2003. Um, I applied for a program at Drexel, a summer program for teachers, and I was, I was scared. Because when I, when I got accepted, I thought it was in electronics, which is kind of what I like, and all of a sudden it was in polymer electrospinning nanofibers, and I went, I don't know what those words mean. And so I was like really nervous when I read the email, and these professors are from Drexel saying, here, read this research paper, and, and do this and you'll be prepared. And when I looked at the research paper, I knew the word the and, <laughs> and maybe a couple electronics terms, and that was it. And so I went through the program at Drexel the first summer and fell in love with how research in the engineering field can really spark an innovative spirit. And so I thought, wow, I want to bring this back to my students. And so I went back to Drexel for four more summers. and. Um, wrote a whole curriculum that I parallel with the engineering design and development course. So what you're going to see and hear about tonight is a custom program that was designed to fit within our engineering academy to give our seniors an opportunity to become global leaders and to understand a field in science that's going to become mainstream and is not yet. And they're going to have those skills that make them marketable. So they're not only going to have an engineering degree when they graduate from college, they're going to have experience in the nano field. Um, the stuff that they're doing and they're going to be talking to you about is research that happens at the collegiate level and typically not until senior year or even in graduate school or even doctorate and postdocs of the research. So you're going to see some really neat stuff this evening. And uh, so I'm really excited. This is my passion, my life, my love. I'm, I'm so excited to see your children and these students uh, really rise to the challenge to do something that you walk into with very little understanding and walk out with going, wow. I really gained a lot of knowledge. Um, so with that, uh, this evening you'll see four presenters that are going to introduce you to a little bit about our course, uh, what nanotechnology is, a little bit of background about uh, the electrospinning process. You'll also hear a little bit about Pauline's <coughs> research, just a brief couple sentence summary, and then a conclusion. And then we'll pull all the seniors up here, so if anybody want to take fi uh, pictures or photos, you can see the 26 seniors that we have this year. And then um, we're going to take you down to the, uh, the auxiliary gym. And we have all of their electrospinning stations set up. They're going to demonstrate the process of preparing polymer nanofibers. And you'll get a really good introduction into some of the research and work that these students have really poured their hearts and souls into this year. I'll tell you, 45 minutes a day is not enough time. Uh, and I'll tell you, there's not enough hours in the day and not enough money in the budget, per se. Uh, the, the ideas are grandiose. We made things happen this year, so you'll see uh, with some of the research. So without further ado, I would like to introduce um, our first speaker of the evening, uh, Di Danny Gigliano, uh, who is going to talk to you about what nanotechnology is. Thank you. Thank you. 